Have you ever wondered what the smallest country in the world is? Although you may think you know, you'll be surprised to see what's number one on the list. Number 10. Although the Republic of Maldives has a territory of 35,000 square miles, 99% of it is ocean. The actual landmass is composed of only 115 square miles and consists of approximately 200 islands and a population of 345,000. Known for its unstable government and religious intolerance, the natives also believe in white and black magic. In September of 2013, a coconut, an ingredient commonly used in spells, was detained by authorities during an election for acting suspiciously outside of a polling station. Number 9. St. Kitts and Nevis Two separate islands in the Caribbean make up this sovereign nation and have a combined area of 104 square miles. The population of 48,000 is significantly smaller than the Maldives, and this small nation only gained its independence from Britain as recently as 1983. Both of the islands are part of a volcanic chain, with Nevis being almost all mountain. St. Kitts and Nevis have the honor of being the first colonized islands in the Caribbean. Christopher Columbus discovered and named them in 1493, and the country's full title is the Federation of St. Christopher and Nevis. Number 8 With an average island height of only 7 feet, the Marshall Islands are one of the world's flattest countries. This island chain in the Pacific takes up 70 square miles and has a population of 68,000. Although evidence of settled islands originates from as far back as 2000 BC, the Marshall Islands gained their independence from the United States in 1986, making it one of the world's youngest nations. Although it's comprised of five islands and several atolls, the island count used to be six. Unfortunately, the U.S. blew up the sixth island, Elujalab, when testing a hydrogen bomb in 1952. All that remains is a hole over a mile wide and 15 stories deep. Number 7 Tucked in between Austria and Sweden is the small but notable country of Liechtenstein. Covering only 62 square miles and with a primarily German population of 36,000, this beautiful and culture-rich country solidifies its spot as number 7 on our list. Liechtenstein is the world's largest producer of sausage casings, false teeth, and potassium storage units. Liechtenstein is one of three countries in the world without an army, and the one time they did have one was during the Austro-Prussian War in 1866. Their army consisted of 80 soldiers and saw no fighting. Number 6 San Marino is a mere third the size of Liechtenstein with a population of over 31,000 and an area of 23 square miles. This small European country has walls similar to the Great Wall of China and is crowned with three towers on Mount Titano, which most of the main city rests on. San Marino is said to be the oldest surviving republic founded in 301 AD, and President Abraham Lincoln had the honor of being made an honorary citizen there because of his love of republican principles. Number 5 Tuvalu is a group of nine islands. It was known as the Ellis Islands before gaining independence for Britain in 1978 and is located in the South Pacific. Though Tuvalu spans 500,000 square miles of ocean, the actual area of land is only 10 square miles and is ever shrinking due to rising sea levels. The population is shrinking as well, with 2012 citing over 11,000 residents and 2013 dwindling to just under 10,000. Having already experienced significant coastal erosion, climate scientists expect Tuvalu to be completely underwater by the year 2100. Number 4 also found in the South Pacific is a slightly smaller nation of Nauru, at only 8 square miles. Nauru was once named Pleasant Island and achieved its independence in 1968. The country is the world's smallest island nation and is the only independent republic without a capital city. Nauru's most notable feature is its phosphate deposits, which made it a valuable commodity in the early 20th century. It is widely believed that the island's phosphate deposits originated from droppings by seabirds, and since the island is made up of mostly phosphate rock, it is surprising that more people aren't squeamish about walking barefoot there. Number 3 Monaco is the world's second smallest country, but it's got a lot of character. Racing fans will recognize it as the national capital of the Grand Prix, Formula One racing's most prestigious race. With only three quarters of a square mile of land and a population of 37,000 as of 2013, most of Monaco is taken up by racetracks and narrow streets. 
It's also home to James Bond's favorite casino, the Monte Carlo. Ironically, citizens of Monaco are forbidden to gamble in the casinos or even step foot in the doors of one, although they do enjoy a tax-free lifestyle. Number 2. Vatican City is both a city and the smallest recognized country in the world. It's most famous for being the capital of Catholicism and the seat of the Pope in the Vatican. With a population of 842 people as of 2014 and a land space of only 0.17 square miles, it's an incredibly significant country that's barely there. This city-state is completely surrounded by Rome, Italy. Vatican City stamps its own coins, issues its own passports, and even has its own post office, which is used by many Italians as it's quicker than the Italian post offices. Number 1. Have you ever heard of Sealand? Probably not. That's because this principality is not only extremely tiny, it's only 0.001 square miles, but it's never been recognized as an independent nation. Sealand was originally created as a British naval sea fort to keep an eye on the Germans, but it soon became the world's most interesting and least known unofficial country. During the pirate radio revolution, DJ Roy Bates claimed the abandoned fort after being caught illegally playing rock and roll on the airwaves. He never used it for a radio station, but he did declare it a sovereign state. Though legally free from British rule, the country faced an intense battle led by Bates and his son Michael that involved rebel armies and a hostage situation and several shots fired. Sealand is currently unable to gain official status as a sovereign nation due to an interpretation of British law that says artificial islands can't have legal status as such. You can, however, buy the title of Lord or Lady of Sealand for a mere $45. Subscribe for more videos.